Hello, it's Kia from Petals Bath Boutique and I am bringing you guys along with me today to keep me some company while I make some soap. And um, this first batch here is um, Sakura Bloom and it's a really, really lovely uh, floral, nice and summery. So it has like some powdery notes to it. This is one of my favorite florals. And I've just added my lye water. My base uh, oils here are olive oil, rice bran oil, castor oil, coconut oil, palm oil, and unrefined shea butter. going to do a white base with um, a brown and pink swirl. I just got a shipment of oils in. It's really just enough to finish out my spring lineup. I mean my summer lineup. I was hoping to be able to buy more but I couldn't so I already had the fragrance oils that I needed, thank goodness, so that wasn't a problem. It's just I ran out of my base oils. And usually I buy them in like the big buckets. I'm not sure what size they are. I think they're like a little 50 pound. I usually buy them in uh, the 50 pound buckets, but this time I was only able to get um, several of the 7 pound jars or bottles, should I say. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is mix my colors. Have brown. sure how pink this is going to be. It's kind of different every time I make it. So I'm not sure if this is going to be like really hot pink or if it's going to be more of a, a pastel. I might pour off for a small amount and do two pinks. Do this darker color and then do like a lighter color with it. I think I'm going to do that. So let me get another do I have another bucket? I don't think I have another one. Oh, here. I'm going to use one of these. I'm going to mix the brown here. Okay, and then to my base, I'm going to add um, a bit of titanium dioxide. I don't want to add too much because... Um, with the wooden molds here, this insulates, I mean this uh, it goes through a full gel, whether I want it or not, that's what it's going to do. And uh, the hotter it gets, the more crackling you see. I want to try to minimize the crackling as much as possible. Usually I try to uh, pour at a pretty light trace, but today I'm actually going to go for like a, a medium to thick trace because I really want to get uh, separation in the colors here. So let's see how that works out for me. Okay, I'm just going to pour off just a bit of this white and I'm going to add some pink to it. See if we can get a little uh, pastel action going on here. Okay, now I'm going to 
add my fragrance oil. A little bit to each section. And this usually behaves pretty good for me. No discoloration or acceleration or anything like that. So hopefully it behaves today. So far, so good. No rising or anything like that. That's good. You know, florals sometimes can act up a little bit. I can't remember. I should have read my notes, but the base does look like it's trying to yellow a little bit on me. I can't remember if this stays pure white or if it yellows a bit. And I am getting a little bit of rising. Uh, this could be a temperature thing. I don't know. I am getting a little bit of rising here. I'm just going to smooth it out a bit. <laughs> In, in the brown portion here, it already started to thicken up on me. And it's funny because this really isn't that thick. I have seen people soap a lot thicker than this. I kind of start freaking out a little bit when I get a, a thick trace. I try to tap out my air bubbles uh, before I pour because these molds are so heavy. I really can't pick them up and uh, bang them on the floor or anything, especially if I have like a double batch going. So I try to tap the air bubbles out ahead of time. Okay, looks like so far everything is good. So I'm going to go ahead and do a... Uh, in the pot swirl for this one. I usually don't do these, but um, I'm really liking how they are turning out in this particular mold. I just had a batch called Sea Berry the other day, and that had a uh, in the pot swirl, and I really liked the effect. I'm going to save just a bit for the top. I'm going to add the brown. Try to pour this right handed so y'all can see. Oh, this is getting thick. That quick swirl. And pray that we get desired effect here. Maybe we got a little bit more. We got pouring that mold over there.
Sorry, it's great best uh, right-handed. I usually have to have some kind of music playing while I'm doing this, but um, I don't know, YouTube is getting like really good now at picking up the slightest bit of music in your video, even if it's not attached to the video, like I'll have it playing in the background and it'll still pick it up and then give me like a copyright notice. And sometimes it's something as simple as like they'll put advertisements on my video and another time they'll tell me like that. It's not going to be able to show the video in certain countries. I certainly don't want to like block anyone from being able to see it. So just to be on the safe side, I leave all the music and stuff out. Oopsie! Let's get some swirlage on top. I'm going to make another soap today, but I just haven't figured out which one yet. I have about eight or nine more batches to make. Plus a few custom loads. So I don't know really where to begin. And this is more pink than I planned for. Okay. I think I'm just gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Just a little swirling on top. And then the corner doesn't have as much soup. Okay, I think I'm good here. I don't want to mess around with it too much. 
So I'm just going to spritz the top with a little bit of alcohol. So actually, I want to get a picture first before I add the alcohol. So I'm just going to spritz the top with alcohol here, and then I'm going to add a bit of glitter, just have to have glitter. This is a girly scent, so I need some girly sparkles. After I make my next batch, I'm going to cover this whole thing with some plastic wrap to uh, prevent soda ash. And that's that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll be back with um, some more in a bit. Bye bye.